Hi, this is Kevin with KGM GM owner of Pro Advertisers Club, a totally free site to advertise. Go to ProAdvertisersClub.com, join for free today, and start advertising for free. Okay, real quick before I forget, we are uh, doing a giveaway. Uh, Trash Panda is nice enough to donate two Rage cards when he gets them. Uh, the drawing will be the day after the clock ends, but the deadline will be the clock, which is over here. Let's go take a look at that. I think we got seven days left. Um, but anyway, what you need to do is uh, make a comment underneath one of my videos saying who you are and you would like to participate in the drop. That's all you have to do. Um, and then I'll put the list together the next day and do the drawing. So we have seven days and five hours left. So, yeah, so get that done if you're interested in doing that. Um, the guild is about to start another battle here in about a day. And I've taken the first two, not the first two spots, but the two spots that I'm going to take. Uh, yeah, we got 32 more hours. I, I'm just getting over COVID, guys, so I apologize if I sound rough. Last night was really rough. The um, 13 which is the, that's that gold combination. I, I, got, I don't have much Rebellion, but I got the Chaos Legion. And it's not that high of a level, so I, I'm kind of competitive in it. And then I took number eight. And then we got Simple Nuts there, who's grabbed number six. So we got lots of openings, guys. Get it filled out, and good luck. Um, let's go look at my numbers. I did a little bit uh, strategy change because of what's going on with the new ranking system and here's my three accounts one two three so what I did was I pretty much closed the third one and I'm designing these two to go max out um, that's a simple strategy going from trying to be silver one silver three whatever to gold to champion I'm just going to max out and pretty much I'm just doing gold summoners right now is all I'm DCA and with, but um, then this one's going to be a rental account. I'm just going to put all the cards in there that I'm going to rent out. Could be great. Who knows? We'll see. Um, Gathering the Magic made a good video on what he thinks going to happen. I, I think it might. It just might. So to be in preparation for it instead of waiting till after it starts happening, this is what I'm going to do. Uh, now you see the $200 jump almost here in this number one account and the reason is because I put a hundred and fifty dollars worth of summoners in there uh, this is was through PayPal they have a four payment thing I got approved for and I'm gonna use this to get the big purchases because the problem with DCAing is I never have enough money to get the big stuff I'm just buying whatever the cheapest is what I'm going after with this I can get the money up front buy it like gold legendaries and then they divide up into four payments I pay it off you know rinse recycle type thing and just keep going so anyway that's the new there and I added it in so my new expense is twenty nine hundred and ten dollars that I have into the game but the value is thirty nine forty five so I'm still up a thousand I actually went up plus twenty three so I got a feeling that those gold summoners are pumping a little bit because everybody seems to be thinking the same thing I am and that is that those are going to go up in value uh, the other thing I want to show you is my list of youtubers and I'm gonna kinda harp on this as far as going to support them because here's why I these are all the ones I subscribe to every time I find a new one I add it if you see that one you follow or know about is not on here send it to me I'll join them and like subscribe and then leave a comment on every video they make here's why we all have a self-interest of this platform uh, getting you know getting better and you're if you don't want to make a video I understand that not everybody will if you do just make one about what you're doing and then if you're real good with data make you know one like you know like one like gathering the magic or after sound or bronze dragon makes that's you know real deep dive into the 
uh, you know, Dwayne Cunningham, all them guys. But most of us, if you just make a video showing what you're doing, and that's all I'm doing, is um, we get more eyeballs on this platform. And every person we can bring in, and then it starts spreading by mouth. So support these guys. It's in your best interest to do so. Uh, I don't care if you just push play and walk away. Uh, the algorithm is what we need to promote, to push. And, and I didn't mean to say sound like I, Everything these guys put out, I listen to, is very interesting, or, or I learn something, or it's it's seeing how they're doing it compared to what I'm doing it. But the point is, the the logical thing of you know getting this site promoted is that's the little bit of that we can do to get this out in front of more people, and simply by supporting creators who are creating about Splinterlands, it's that simple. But anyway, so pause it. And if you haven't any of these liked or subscribed to, go to them and do so. And let's go now to my land. I've got five properties. I got one. The first one I got was here. I got three in here and one in here. Two of these are on the same track, so I don't have to pay a transfer fee, which they are talking about doing away with. In fact, the uh, what do you call it's going on right now? The uh, Splinterlands AMA or Town Hall, whatever you want to call it. And I usually don't watch it. I just will tune in to another YouTuber who, uh, you know. But I did like and subscribe to it. <laughs> so, but you know they talk for a couple. Of, I you know sometimes if I'm driving around I'll listen to it. But uh, let's see, play grain here. Now this one all I'm doing is stockpiling grain, and I'm up to 150 thousand it looks like, and I still have yet not gotten a totem piece. So that's all I'm doing with this one. The other one is also grain that I'm about to go to here and it's got to take care of three other properties as well as itself so what I do is I claim and that's all we can do with land right now it's one percent open they got you know a lot more coming but right now you can only do grain SPS or research points and no totem but now what I'm going to do here that I don't do in the other ones is I go up to the grain, transfer grain, max it out, 11212, continue, and I just go to the one that needs it the most. And right now it's 46 thalas. Now there's these two are sharing that, but this is a better property, so it uses more grain, has better cards on it. So I'm in a good shape where I'm covered with grain on all my property. And when 2.0 comes out, I will still have the same thing because even though I'm going to lose one property for grain, I can move to another one that does accept. Because I think it's six, no, four. Only four properties can you do grain on. All right, let's go back. Now these two are together on the same tract, same region, and this one's research points. You know, making a video also gives you a record of what your strategy was and where it, how it goes and how it works out. So it's going to be interesting. I can come back and look at this, you know, say five years from now and see either what I was doing right or what I was doing wrong. And it enables you to meet people in the community that, uh, you know, there's nobody to talk to this stuff about. I don't know about you, but there's nobody around me that wants to listen to this. In fact, they're tired of me talking about it. I did get some people in the, like, VV and other things at the beginning of that bull market. And then it went downhill from there. And, um... This is SPS now. 
And so I kind of don't bring it up anymore. And I kept telling them, though, don't sell it. Don't just hang on to it. It will come back. Hell no, they sold the stuff. And now the stuff's coming back, just like I said it would. I, I, I know uh, the, as far as Vivi goes, right place, just uh, the time is off. Don't know how long it's going to take them to implement all that. And Splinterlands has been here now for six years, going on in sixth year. In terms of metaverse and Web3 gaming, that's ancient. Okay, what did I, did I go on the wrong one? Yeah, okay, they're all claimed. All right, no totem piece at all, but that's my land. So now let's go do my DCA. And so here's what I got yesterday with that 150. And I took him off the property. He's already maxed out. So I got uh, Thaddeus Brood maxed out. I've got Tarsa almost maxed out. Uh, I bought Kayla Friendo first because he's pumping. And this one, these are the two most expensive. So I still got some of General Sloan to do and a little bit of Terra Tarsa. So let's go look at what their prices are. I'm dreading the look because I think they're probably higher than I want to pay right now. Yeah, about three bucks. I were I was paying two fifty. So let's go. How many more do I need of her? I need seven, eight, I need nine more. So let's do, I'll buy these two. Oh, actually, no. I'm only going to buy, yeah, I'm going to buy two. So I want to get this done in case it gets out of hand. But then there's some other news that After Sound came with, out with this morning. That is, they sold Soul Keep to another company. So evidently the problem has been the original company just wasn't getting it done for whatever the reasons, who knows. All right, so that's going to put me at 15. So I only got... I've only got seven more to do. And that'll leave me... But here's what I want to do that's different. Okay, let's go to the market. So that means I'm going to start stacking nightmare packs again. At least one a, a, a DCA. And they were pretty cheap. I hope they're not pumping because of that. Okay, nightmare packs. Yeah, right there. So I'm going to go buy one of these. I've already got 50, but you get SPS for holding on to them. So let me buy one. And I'm just going to do that until they open up, have me a nice little stack. And if the game doesn't do well, I'll open them all up. And if it does, I'll sell the packs. So let's go and now do... And I think I can get two. Yep, that's all I can get. And that's the way it's going to be until I get my um, summoners all maxed out. So I've got three done, one almost done, and the Sloan I'll do last. He's usually the cheapest. All right, let's go to the open the packs. Um, Trash Panda, who's been donating a pack a day. I'm a day behind, but I'm only going to use one. But look at this. We got a potion for every single card, right? five for each card so 10 potions will be used up you don't have to have potions but they do help I do not buy potions I simply get them out of the chest for free and use them when I got them okay so I'm guaranteed one rare and look at this two rares and an epic now any can be gold this is a good pack already okay let's go 
And here's the epic. Nice. Fantastic. All right, good job on the rebellion pack today. And we'll just do one at a time since we only got two. Now I'll use up the rest of the potions on this. I just have a hard time. I'd rather spend the money on cards than I would the potions. That's me, personally. Alright, same thing. Guaranteed a rare. And I got that rare. But any of these can be gold. Okay, no summoners. I'm also trying to max out the summoners in my Taro Cabot account. So, any summoners is nice right now. And the reason is because with the, the new ranking system, there's no bronze. It's just get to the top as best as you can. That That's really all you can do, from what I understand now. Okay, just a rare, so no legendary or epic. But let's see if I got any gold. So pretty simple strategy, which is pretty much what you want to do all the time anyway in Splinterlands is max out the cards. So there we go. So let's go to here. And see how I'm doing on chances. Now, don't forget again. Uh, leave a comment that you'd like to enter, and you know, leave all you know, the, your username or whatever, so I can. Uh, you actually don't have to give me your your game name until if you win and you decide, you know, that I'll transfer it to you. But um, I need some proof. You know, just ask. Just say I want to be in the the drawing. I'll put your name in it, and. Um, and then we'll go from there. And let's see. So now I've only got 14 chances. I'll probably end up 20, 22, 25 if I get lucky. But um, unless you've got 200 guaranteed, the 199 is not going to guarantee it. I mean, you think, wow, I'm only one point off. No, because the top pushes the bottom down. That's why they put in the guarantee so that at least the small guy has a chance to get a guaranteed card. Uh, because if they took that out, even 200 wouldn't give you one. For you know, It'd be such a small chance. And that chance gets smaller every day as the top starts stacking up, if I'm explaining that right. So anyway, uh, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I know your time is important, and have a nice day.